WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we begin our day with a sea of red out there. You've got all the U.S. indices that we track are trading to the downside. You've got the Dow up 223 points, the S&P down 20, NASDAQ 154, Russell's up 29 yeah, 29. Uh, semis are down 35. Trandies are off 185. A New York Stock Exchange down 120. We've got gold trading up 10 bucks, well off its highs. Silver up 70 cents, off its highs as well. Natural gas up seven pennies. Light to be crude up 67 cents. And a 30 year treasury printing down one point and six ticks at 119.02. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart. We begin the upper left-hand corner. You've got the ES Mini. The ES Mini at the present time is trading above the top of its daily profile. That profile levels at 58, well, we'll call it 58.80. If price were to close below 58.80, gets back inside the profile, it would bring 56.41 and 58.02 into play. Short of that, price should go target 6,012. It's A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. You've got the spot fix, which on Friday did close below its 50-day exponential moving average. Today, it's trading back above it. So I don't have really a – so it would say that Friday's action was a false signal. In other words, when you do trade below that 50-day exponential moving average, that provides bulls with an edge, buyers with an edge. If you take a look at the NQ, really trading in between a descending trend line, a resistance, and a rising trend line support, but also with inside its daily profile. Uh, that range is between 2135 at support, 2524 for resistance. If you close above – Profile resistance odds would favor move to 21,261. The US dollar index formed a new profile. Price to trade above the top of that profile, which is up at the 103.54 level. Just another indication that the US dollar index is going to go target that TD9 count top from way back in July, and that's up at the 104.16 level. Gold, today is going to become bar number seven of a TD9 count. There's also, although it's not shown here, a rose momentum indicator signal that's present. If this were to turn out to be a, for example, a bearish shooting star candle, which it is right now, that would identify a top. Silver is um, does not have a such signal. It's only a bar number six of a TD9 count. It suggests that it wants higher price. Light three crude is just consolidating with inside its daily profile. May have support or found a bottom at the 68.33 level. Natural gas, if it can form a bull bullish reversal candle today. Right now it's a piercing candle. That would confirm a buy the D point pattern. And a 30-year treasury is crushing all bottom signals, patterns, the TD9 count and the buy the D point pattern. That would suggest lower price. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Z Show, but it dropped to start your Monday. Have a magical and magnificent one. Thanks for joining me. I'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Now.